Hey guys, how you doing? I got Thor down here today, and I'm gonna do a little follow-up video on this Dean Buddy Blaze. Come in here and take a look at this. So Thor, believe it or not, was the original owner of this guitar. Um, it's his name on this receipt that I showed you guys. And uh, so he's got a lot of interesting facts about this guitar. First of all, I wanted to ask you, Thor, who's this Buddy Blaze guy? Buddy Blaze built the original Dean from Helford uh, dime bag. He dime bag sold the guitar he won, gave it to Buddy. Buddy actually painted it blue, put the lightning stripes or the lightning on it, and then he built dime one dime bags and put the Floyd on first it. First ML. The real cowboy from hell guitar. Wow. He actually got it from dime as a sunburst, put the Floyd on it, did the blue paint with the lightning. Um, and then he later became famous for building the Night Swan for Kramer. So when he did this, he did the Night Swan inlay where it swoops up and down the fretboard instead of being centered. The middle pickup instead of the neck. Um, what was then, his reasoning for moving this pickup down towards the center like that? I have no idea. I personally, okay. I personally don't like that myself, but a okay. lot of people think the neck is too muddy, so by putting it there, it made it not so drastic of a change. Okay. It's a personal thing. It gets rid of some of the, some um, of the mud. Yeah, it just gives you a neck pickup that's not so woofy, if, so, if you will. I hear um, he, When they did it with Dean, he insisted that the neck be at a tilted angle, like the original 70s ones. I believe at that point they were doing them flat, and he made it go back to do the top-mounted Floyd. So, so Dean made these babies flat. Yeah, and he had them tilted a little so bit. So the neck is tilted back yeah. down this way from the body. Which makes the surface-mounted Floyd they did in the 80s the uh -huh. way to go. And it's a real Floyd. That was one thing he insisted when Dean made it, it had to be a real Floyd, not a knockoff. It had to be quality components. Got to have the real Floyd in there. Okay, so you were saying that how many of these... Three, 300 were made. That's Only it. 300 of so, these exist in the world. And I don't think they were a huge, huge seller because everybody wanted the, the more dime bag ones at that point. Didn't necessarily understand it because it was different. Right. But at 300 of them, that's not many to be out there. And then when I had it, I had it refretted uh, with Dunlop 6100 frets. So I had what super, was your super reasoning for refretting this thing? Just... For me, makes it easier to play. You just barely touch the string to get the note to ring out, so you can kind of oh, get some God, speed, yeah. a better grip, kind of the really kind of fast. like scalloping. Except uh -huh. for you're raising the frets instead of lowering the wood, you don't lose wood. Um, it just made it play faster, easier, more fun. So only 300 of these things were made. Buddy Blaze is the original designer of Dime Bags First ML. He did the original paint job for it. The, the, Took it with the blue with the lightning, and he just did his variation with the chrome on it there. But really cool. Now, guitars. this thing has an invader installed in, in it, but you didn't do that. That was the guy that owned it after you. That was you. after me. What was the original pickup that was in that? It came with a dime bucker. A dime bucker. And it sounds great. Big, huge piece of mahogany. Floyd, original Floyd. Now with jumbo frets. Um, I think I had Atomic and Atomic Guitars in Phoenix do it, and they do fantastic work. Because it was the binding, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. But it just took it from a killer guitar to an amazing I had guitar. one comment. I, I made a, a video on this earlier uh, this month, and the one comment was, this headstock design is just ridiculously ugly. <laughs> I What's think your thoughts like, on that? I think they're cool, man. I think they're super cool. Uh-huh. It definitely makes a statement. Yeah, it does, huh? People know exactly. And Buddy Blaze had something to do with these flamed inlays on there. Yeah, and you can see how they curve down the fretboard and back up instead of being a straight line. Uh huh. Super cool, man. Well, hey, do you think we can get you to play this thing a little bit? Oh, I suppose. All right, here we go. End of part one. Intermission. End of intermission. Part two. <laughs> Give us a little dime bag riff. What do you Ooh, think? Man? Come it's on. been years. Okay. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> too. You make Pretty it a little 
was so easy. It was pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Thor. Thank you for coming in, man. Yeah, thanks for really creating. He's a Nashville my resident. You live in Nashville these days. I do now. I That's do now. so cool. Been staying busy over there. Yep, playing with a new band called Killing Grace out of Nashville. Check wow. them out on YouTube, Facebook, whatnot. Killing Grace. How about that? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.